I am amazed at how intricate and detailed HVA was with flipping the classroom learning to online learning. Literally within days, I had uh, several phone calls. Do Kaylin have a device? Does she have a study? Plan? Do you need any supplies? Anything that you need? They sort of mastered a program, a scheduling, how to interact with the students. And they made sure we understood everything. They made sure that um, everything was clear. It was a quick, quick transaction from, you know, one minute you're in school, one minute you have to stay home. Everything was shut down. But then here comes the school. It was like thinking beyond thinking. It was quick. It was a quick moment. You know, everything was getting shut down right away. And they are working really fast to get you all these Chromebook as fast as they can. I mean, that was the game changer right there. If we had missed out this Chromebook, what would happen to my daughter? What I would have done with her? The school were willing to come out here and provide some sort of technology to our kids. That's what I love. I think that's great. The teachers have their regular curriculum, but they also have all of these resources that they've given them for books and activities and those different kind of things. The teachers and the staff at HVA set the same standard as if you were physically in school. I would say that the quality of work that they are getting at home is just as quality as the work that they were getting at school. They're on top of their students, so that helps me as a parent to know where my child stands, where his progress is and what, what's needed. They've been consistent on the admin end of things with progress reports, checking in every week, um, Zoom meetings with the, the faculty and staff. Our neighborhoods are the hardest hit. And so um, it's our responsibility to offer support, not only academically, but also emotionally. We have been speaking with our families. They are very grateful for the work that we've done. A lot of them have lost their jobs. Uh, many still have to go out to work under some pretty dangerous conditions. Um, some have shared that they have either a sick one, a sick loved one, or, or have lost um, someone who has been sick. And this just adds to the stress and anxiety that our kids already have. It has affected us drastically because we have experienced loss. We've lost pillars and you know, matriarchs and, you know, fathers, um, that has happened and we are affected that way. There's a counseling Google Classroom that's set up as well. So if she wants to talk, she can click in there and schedule to speak with someone if she wants. And I thought that was very, um, very considerate and very thoughtful of the school to do that. My favorite part of remote learning is doing my math and my writing, sometimes on the computer. My favorite part of remote learning is to read at home, learn, learn, and spell tricky words. My favorite part of remote learning is music and and writing. The school, they give me a lot of books and I like to read them. My favorite book is Toad and Frog. Her home became a library because of Harlem Village Academy. So it's reading upon reading all the time. HVA is an amazing school. The structure is almost like private school. How to understand what you're learning, how to critically think about how did you find this answer or where did this information come from? I live in Harlem and Harlem Village Academy is a pillar of my community. It's not your average charter school. They are cut above the rest. HVA, make sure all of their children were on the same playing field in terms of technology, availability, accessibility. It's like this is happening. We have to protect our students' education. We need to get this in place and we need to support our families. It's been amazing.